All right, people. We're back with another video today. We're gonna see what we can do out here. Um, I am out here at this beautiful river. A river that I've fished one time a couple years ago and <clears throat> cover a lot of ground. Didn't catch a whole lot of fish the last time I was here. Caught some red breast sunfish, good sized red breast sunfish. Um, and one largemouth bass. But we're out here again today to see what we can do. Uh, just wanted to try to explore this spot a little bit more. The water is a bit stained. We had some, you know, we had like a storm, like a, some serious, significant rain, thunderstorms across my area, across the state. Uh, like, not this past week, but the week before, really. And it made basically every single stream river creek any running body of water super high muddy high current so the water here still looks a little bit stained today um which might open up some possibilities for us here in terms of the presentations that we can use um but yeah you know it's around noon oh wow check that out guys that's a, that's a mink did you guys see that look at that whoa that was crazy. You don't see a mink every day, especially not when you're sitting indoors, you know, watching Netflix or whatnot. So anyway, that was kind of interesting. I hope that was, got caught on camera. That was cool. Um, but uh, with that being said, we're just gonna get out here, um, you know, tie on a few lures, throw, cast around, cover some water. Um, it, we do have a lot of, uh, ground to cover really before I get to where I really want to try to fish I mean I'll probably make a few casts around here you know this is a you can see this big dam you know there's a gigantic uh, reservoir up there that feeds this uh, this uh, this river but you know I'm gonna stop running my mouth feeling good today in a good mood got some energy positive vibes are, are taking place so uh, hey you never know until you throw. So, let's go. All right, people. So I just got one setup with me today. You know, we're trying to cover some ground, so I don't want to be weighed down with a bunch of rods. Uh, this is my medium spinning setup. And I'm starting out with this crankbait here. This is a balsa wood crankbait. This is a, a Rapala shallow shad wrap. Um, in kind of a shad pattern. Probably won't keep this tide on for long. I don't think it's kind of, it's sort of suiting the conditions today because of how cloudy it is. But this is what we're going to start out with. Uh, might, get, might, you know, try a different crankbait that causes a bit more of a ruckus. This is, you know, no rattle. Very natural action, subtle action. Um, but we'll see. Like I said, you know, I'm out here at this dam area still. And I'm not going to spend too much time here. So there's a chance that the water... You know further downstream is going to be clearer um so this might do end up being the key today you know this little crankbait um but i'm gonna start making a few casts here before we start walking just to see um if anything's over here you know i really i'm gonna probably stick with moving baits for most of the day until we get to some you know some more structure uh just to cover ground because we have this is a lot of water big water today um so trying to keep that in mind uh when we're out here fishing making good use of our time but yeah this is a very lightweight you know it's balsa wood so it doesn't have amazing like casting distance necessarily we've got like a foot of visibility i would say maybe a little more so this could still work all right people i just wanted to film briefly this walk here through the forest you know this park is um you know it was been a while since i've been here um but i feel like it was much busier last time i've only seen a, there's only a few cars parked only you know just saw a few people wandering around so it really might be nice and quiet out here today which i kind of am looking forward to but anyway we got a solid 10 15 minutes before we really get to the place where we want to start fishing again so 
I'll touch base with you when we get there. All right, people. So this is kind of where I'm really gonna start fishing a little more seriously. Um, there's basically like this old dam area across the river here. And this is where I started catching fish last time was around this area. Water is still a little bit more murky than I was expecting. So I made a little switch here in terms of lures. Tied on this, uh, a different crankbait. This is like more of like a square bill type crankbait. Um, got that bright chrome. I think it's gonna show up good today. You know, it's a sunny day. This water still got some stain to it. I think this could be, you know, that chrome could help fish kind of be drawn to it from further away. Also has a little bit of a rattle to it, which could also help um, in a similar fashion. So yeah, just go ahead and made a little adjustment. Um, see if there's maybe a, a, a bass or some aggressive predatory fish out there that wants to hit this. We may downsize to a smaller, more panfish size lure before too long, but I wanted to try it with this, you know, try for a bigger fish, at least to begin with. I keep seeing little, little blow ups, little disturbances taking place out here. I don't know what's going on. It doesn't necessarily look like feeding activity. It may not even be predatory fish. Look at that. That might've been a fish. You know, a fish we could target, maybe cast over there. Something's, something's fired up up there. Yeah, let's just start fishing. Don't know what's happening up here. Air temp today is like gonna be in like the mid 80s. So I'll probably do a little bit of waiting here shortly. Might be nice to cool off. Yeah, there's some commotion happening over here, folks. I don't know what it is. Yeah, let's get out here into the, into the water a little bit. Get our feet wet. It feels better. Feels better already, people. Uh, okay, I think I know what the surface disturbances are, people. It's gar. Never caught one before. They're really not easy to catch with conventional gear. But they're doing some kind of, maybe that one was just getting a breath, I don't know. Or maybe they're doing some spawning activities today. Wouldn't put it past them. Tis the season for that kind of thing. All right, people, so I just saw a pretty good sized bass in here cruising around. So I'm gonna try to work this side a little bit just to see if there's something we can draw out of here. I had to go rescue the crankbait, but I really didn't mind getting, getting wet today. It's pretty warm, so. Here's a fish. Here's a fish. Here's a fish, guys. First one of the day. Red breast sunfish. Wow. I saw him come up and attack it. That's a good red breast, too. Let's check them out, people. I wasn't expecting to catch this on the crank. But I guess this guy was hungry. Wow, that's a pretty fish. Pretty red breast, guys. Check them out. Very nice. Let's get, let's get this hook out of him and take a better look. He hooked in the mouth. He, he swung at it. These do have these fish do have bigger mouths than like a bluegill. So your chances of hooking them on bigger baits is slightly higher and you know these river fish they tend to be a little more aggressive anyway so this guy definitely was all right let's behold this fish here people that's a beautiful red breast sunfish really beautiful biggest one I've caught in quite some time 
five or six inches. Wow, gorgeous fish here. Look at that color on his on his chest. Nice. Glad to get one on the day here. Really been out here for like an hour or so. Oh, there's that bass again. I'm definitely going to cast in these rocks, people, and see if the fish in there want to take a bite. I'm going to get a picture of this fish and send him on his way. Good, good catch here. Beautiful red breast sunfish. Good sign that they're hitting the crankbait too. It means that they're still pretty aggressive. All right, guys. Well, let's look at our red breast. Nice fish here. Send them back. Bye, bud. Appreciate you. All right, people. We made it, made it, went ahead and made a switch, like we were saying. And I'm just feeling a little, feeling a little lucky, a little ambitious right now. Went ahead and switched to a topwater lure. This is a, a little buzz bait. I think it's a Strike King. Alright people, taking a little break here, a little interlude, but I just wanted to take a look at this plant here, this is uh, some pickerel weed, real nice looking plant, got some pretty little purple blooms on it, attracting lots of different pollinators out here, nice little aquatic plant, good thing to look at out here today. Alright people, well we ran out of buzz baits. Uh, so made another switch to probably something much more practical in my opinion just this little jig spinner you know one of those kind of trusty lures that uh i like to tie on when i'm just trying to catch catch a fish and don't really care how big how small or what species it can catch them all just like a little finesse spinner bait essentially uh, a little colorado blade on it uh one eight, one eighth ounce jig head and uh Soft plastic is a Bobby Garland baby shad. I think it's called like crystal minnow. I'm not sure what the color is, but just kind of a silvery uh, bait fish color with a lot of uh, glitter in it. So we're gonna uh, work this area over with it and then we're gonna keep it moving. Oh, one just tried to take a swipe at it. <laughs> oh. Never, um, not much of a chance of keeping one hooked with this lure, you know, those thin jaws. That was funny though, he just was sitting near those weeds and came out and took a swing. Not what we're targeting today, but that was interesting. It's a fish. Red breast. All right, fish number two, people. Ooh, been a little bit of a grind out here, but we were kind of trying different things. Oh, hold on, fish. Hold on, but Buster, let me let me get you. Another red breast here, not quite as big as that other one, but still a uh, decent fish. Let's take a look at them. These fish are very. Very pretty, good colors um, on these red breasts. Really, a, a really pretty, beautiful fish. Looks like something that could be in a tropical coral reef somewhere, but they're not. They're just out here in the river, hanging out. He just came up and took a swing at that jig spinner. Probably like a five inch fish. I'm gonna get a picture and send him on his way. Nice red breast here. Let's uh, put him back. Thanks for biting fish. Appreciate you. Here's a fish. Another sunfish. All right. We're getting on a few now. All right, got a little distracted. I'm watching those guys try to see what they're doing. I think they're fishing us off something slow, like a soft plastic, but let's get this fish unhooked. Priorities, people, priorities. Like I said, we got our own fish to deal with. 
and I'm quite happy catching these guys. That's a nice fish. Nice red breast there. Cool. Check them out. That's about maybe a little bit bigger than that last one. They're all about five or six inches usually uh, in this river. That's a pretty fish, isn't it? Very nice. Getting on a few. That old jig spinner, you know, that's a trusty lure. Very uh, reliable most of the time. Uh, so yeah, we just kind of upped our chances there making that switch. So going to stick with it for now. Might slow down and, and drag a little, some kind of soft plastic around for a bigger fish later on. But let's uh, keep doing what we're doing because this is fun. All right, one more look at him. Send him on his way. Thank you, fish. Pretty, pretty red breast there. Had a nibble. There's a fish. I think it's a sunfish, but it's fighting pretty good. Yep. Wow. Big fish for a sunfish. Anyway. Wow. It gave a, that thing gave a good fight. Let's check them out, people. This is a nice, nice sunfish. Went ahead and got him unhooked as soon as we could. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that's the biggest red breast of the day, I'm pretty sure. That's a nice fish. That's a chunky fish. It's a, a, a meaty fish right there. Probably like six inches, six and a half. Honestly, gave a, a halfway decent fight too on the, even though I'm on the medium setup. Really good fish here, people. That's a nice fish. Pretty pretty red breasts here. That seems to be the fish of the day so far. Bye, dude. There he goes. A little discombobulated there, but went back into the water. Check this out, people. Caught this little critter here, this little toad. Get a look at him there. I'm going to get a picture and then send him on his way. He's super squishy and squirmy. Lots of wildlife out here today. At the river. Whoa. All right, people, we're back on top of the dam. going to try to go back out to where that was, I saw that guy catching some fish and hit another spot as well. Made a little switch here, a little modification to our lure not a total swap out but we did uh change the, the, the soft plastic we were using you know these jig spinners, spinners it's pretty easy to just swap something out and get a different profile or a different color or different action um on your lure so we, we sw switched to this small swim bait this is a z-man slim swims and a color called the deal it's like a little finesse swim bait with a narrow paddle tail tight little tight action on it tight swimming action and I'm hoping that this is gonna increase our chances of catching something a little bit bigger all right people we're kind of close to where we were before we were just a little bit further down on the other side of these uh, reeds wanted to try this spot because it's kind of a quiet area off from the current I feel like it could hold a bass possibly so we're gonna make a few casts here and then keep it moving. Just trying to cover some ground, cover some water simultaneously today. So, oh, there's a fish jumped out of the weeds and ambushed it. Another red breast. Nailed it guys, just nailed it. I think we just swam that lure right to him. He was just sitting in those reeds and came out and hit it. 
Another red breast sunfish on the day. Not uh, probably like five inches, maybe six. Kind of average size for what we've been catching, but honestly, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, fish. Appreciate you. All right, people. Let our camera cool down for a bit and went ahead and retied this uh, kind of a Ned Rig type bait here. Um, this is a Bass Pro Shops Helgramite. I think the color's called Green Pumpkin Candy or something like that. Um, kind of going to slow it down here for a bit, be a little more methodical. fish barely felt him hit it's a little bass different species at least we did say we wanted to catch a bass kind of didn't we finally got something on that helgramite that really hasn't been doing that well here so far but this we caught something on it let me get a picture of this guy and we'll Send him on back. All right, see you, see you, fish. Appreciate you. Fish. Fish, people. Good fish. Doesn't feel like a sunfish. Fighting good. In the current. Stay on, whatever you are. Strong fish. It's a bass. I think. No. No, it's not. What is that? It's a walleye, people. Called a walleye out here today look at that people new species for me right here on the jig spinner i need to get my grippers for this fish they do have spiky teeth wow this is wow i'm speechless right now people oh my gosh that thing gave a good battle Check this out. This is a new species. That's why I'm so excited, in case you were wondering. That thing smoked the jig spinner. Man, he's chunky too. Look how thick that fish is. Check him out. I am shaking right now. I that This fish took me completely by surprise, people. That's gotta be a pound and a half at least. Probably 15 inches. That's a beautiful fish right there. Serious teeth on them. Predatory fish here. Very good fish for eating as well. Beautiful colors. Kind of brassy, splotched. Lots of speckles on them. I'm gonna get a picture of this fish and send him on his way. I want this guy back in one piece. Gorgeous fish. Gave an awesome fight. All right, people, we're gonna get this fish back. We're gonna get this fish back, people. Oh, wow. This is why I love fishing. You just never know what's gonna happen. New species, beautiful fish. That is a beautiful fish, y'all. Walleye, outstanding. Okay, he just took off in a flash. Oh, wow. 
That was so cool, guys. Catching a new species is always exciting. And to just have a great fight like that after kind of an average day, just what a way to round things off there. I need to take a moment and just gather my faculties after that. All right, people, I got to wrap things up here. I need to get back to my car. I got a little bit of a walk. This park closes at dusk and it's basically dusk. So um, I'm going to try to make this quick, but I mean, what a day we had out here, right? I mean, I mean, it was kind of average there for a while. I mean, we were having a good time, you know, casting around, catching some good sized red breast sunfish. I think we caught like five or six sunfish. One was on that chrome crankbait and the rest were on that trusty old jig spinner. Um, you know, went around, tried a few other things, some bigger lures, no, no luck at all really on those. Wasn't able to explore as much of the water as I kind of wanted to. That being said, you know, these last few minutes here changed everything. I mean, hooking into that walleye was, that was a great, great experience there. Just anytime I, I'm able to catch a new species, it's very special uh, to me. I just, I like, you know, seeing all the different varieties of fish out there and, and being able to catch them. So, um, yeah, gave a great fight. And, you know, that jig spinner, got to give that thing some credit. That did its thing today. I'll tell you that right now. It's a great little lure just a general purpose lure and as you uh witnessed basically any species of fish will potentially hit it you know i had no idea that while i was there beautiful day out here lots of nature activity it was cool seeing all the all the gar doing their thing i'm assuming it was some spawning behavior taking place saw all sorts of other critters too i mean we saw that muskrat uh that mink and yeah i mean we saw that little that little toad you know we caught that little toad i'm gonna have to try to look that up up later and see what species that was like i said i gotta get going beautiful day out here on the water love those surprise catches i really do live for that catching those new species catching those just getting those unexpected fish to show up um and yeah i mean obviously those catches there's a lot of luck involved i mean i had no idea i was gonna catch a walleye today um but hey that's what it's all about that's what makes it fun those surprises that's why i do this stuff that's why i explore that's why i fish definitely definitely part of the equation here so i hope you enjoyed this one beautiful beautiful day out here just check this out take one more look at this uh this vista here we will definitely be back uh to explore some other parts of this river so uh without further ado take it easy all right people so i just wanted to take a brief moment here to uh correct the record more definitively but uh the fish in that video was not a walleye that's what i thought at the time um but it was in fact some something called a saw guy and a saw guy is a hybrid of a walleye and a sauger which are two um very closely related uh, fish species you know they're uh, in the same genus um and yeah they can uh, naturally hybridize and then um the saw guys are also actually uh, propagated uh, by the state and, and stocked and I believe um, what we had uh, caught there was a stocked fish um, I was fishing in a river um, downstream from a big reservoir as I kind of mentioned earlier on and that reservoir had been stocked with salgai in the last few years and you know some of them inevitably uh, washed over the dam and um, and yeah get in the river so